winning is definitely the goal. <laughs> I do have a competitive side. This other person comes into me and it's like, okay, here we go. It's time to go. Oh! You're defending female champion. My name is Rose Grant. I live in Columbia Falls, Montana with my husband, Nelson, and my eight-year-old daughter, Layla. Columbia Falls is super special. It sits right outside of Glacier National Park. It has a plethora of lakes and rivers and is surrounded by wilderness area as well. So it's just so conducive to our lifestyle. It's kind of a hidden gem, being able to really pursue those things that we love. Well, I was born and raised in Darby, Montana, which is a very small town in the Bitterroot Valley. And I grew up skiing and backpacking and fishing with my dad a lot and my four brothers. And that really established like my love for the mountains. I was competitive with them. My three younger brothers, they had a pretty hard time trying to keep up with me. I was kind of always pushing limits, being the first one to the high mountain lake on the backpack trip, you know, trying to out hike everybody. And my older brother started working at a bike shop in Hamilton and got into racing. So I followed in his footsteps, did a couple local races around Missoula. You know, I'd win the beginner category or whatever. I let it go when I went to college. Finally, I got a new bike, 29 inch wheels. I was recovering from a running injury and started riding that mountain bike more. I quickly recognized that I was talented and it was very natural. I felt like I had been gifted my calling when I found the bike. Yeah, I embraced the lifestyle of professional athlete. It is my job. It's an outlet for me to pursue who I am as an individual outside of being a mother and a wife and maintaining a home and it takes a lot of heart and a lot of perseverance and you know it doesn't matter if it's raining or you know so I train here in the winter most of the time and it is very individual as far as just pushing yourself like it's just you out there in the trail uh, you really have to do it for yourself, like because you love it and you enjoy it and you get fulfillment from it um, in some crazy, weird, maybe sick way. <laughs> Balancing family life with training, it becomes my responsibility to protect my training space, that I have childcare set up and, you know, my husband is very understanding and um, knows it takes a lot of work and time and dedication. She puts in the work, and so her success is, is definitely directly related to the amount of work she puts in. My happiness and pride with her success is only that she enjoys it. Since she enjoys it, and it's a big heart passion of hers, man, I'm all about it. I want her to succeed. Hi, my name is Layla, and I'm eight. My mom's a professional mountain bike rider. I like to watch her go fast and beat everyone else. <laughs> we mountain bike ride together. I like to go off jumps, go over bumps, and all that kind of stuff. I feel really fortunate to be able to raise my daughter Layla in the mountains. So beautiful just to get to witness life through their eyes. I mean, she immediately starts giggling anytime she gets on a bike. And just through sport, there's so much that we learn about ourselves. I try to be really present when I'm home. When I'm at work, it's training. There's the hard days, days that feel just like you're just doing it to get it done with. And then there's days where you feel all that hard work come together and you're unstoppable. Let go and people that come to Leadville to do these races. That's the requirement. Never, never, never give up. Inside each and every one of you is an inexhaustible well full of grit, guts, and determination, and we can prove it to you tomorrow. Say it with me. I commit. I won't quit.
One more time. I commit. I will quit. The Leadville 100 is the 100 mile mountain bike race. It's a little mining town that really opens their arm to have all these athletes come in and invade their, their small town. Rose is a very competitive woman. Um, I, I don't think she shows that a lot because she is very relatable, she's very nice, she, she loves to be around people. But once she's on the starting line, you can see that race face come out. And she does her best tomorrow, she'll win. I, that'll happen. I can't even recall a moment that she's quit. She's never quit. You're gonna go out there and you're gonna suffer. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, away we go! And it's a mass start, so you're riding, you know, with hundreds of people. Just control the controllables and let those things that you can't control go. You really have to just stay focused on the moment to just have confidence in your plan and that that's all gonna come together. I mean, she could have a flat, she could crash. Well, she could get sick. I mean, it's such a long race. And there's, there's so many variables. A couple of the women that I knew were gonna be super strong did start out really fast. And I let them go, but I also kept my pace. I didn't want that gap to get too big. So I was kind of going back and forth between fourth and fifth place. I guess halfway through the race, top five were probably within two, two-ish minutes of each other. And then things kind of sorted out. By the time we got to that 80-ish mile mark, there was three of us together and it was a big climb. I was able to form a gap and just real steady, just rode to my strengths. You know, I started going, oh my goodness, like this is gonna work out, you know? and almost get distracted. It's like, no, Rose, like stay focused. It's not over till it's over. <laughs> Bringing my thoughts back to the present and like just focusing on every pedal stroke and um, continuing to drink and eat. And I was a faster descender. I think that opened up the gap a bit more. I just set a pace that I knew I could maintain. Didn't know like how big of a gap I had. You know, I looked back, couldn't see anyone, but had about two miles to go. I just turned the hammer down and um, burned every match I have left to the finish line. Won the race. <laughs> so many moving pieces to make a day like this come together and so to be able to execute it and come away with the title again is, it feels very fulfilling. You so hard. Um, it is emotional and yeah, it feels really good. Like irregardless of the outcome, like it really doesn't matter that much and people don't remember for that long. <laughs> being there, being present, enjoying it, having a good time, building friendships, those things are the things that are just so much deeper than a number on a on a result spreadsheet. Life's just too short. I am a firm believer in owning your own time and establishing your life around the things that make you happy and the passions that you enjoy. I feel like I've discovered like who I was meant to be through biking.